Well, happy birthday to us. We're celebrating our 100th anniversary for Cooperative Extension this year across the country. What a milestone. You all know us. We're the trusted voice in every community. I used to say every county, but it's, it's more than that. It, we're in every community in Ohio. We bring science-based solutions to local problems. We provide positive youth development through 4-H, delivering STEM education programs and civic responsibility all wrapped up in one package. We help grow businesses and we help grow families. In 1914, a century ago, this thing we call extension was a pretty revolutionary concept. You know, the thought that we would invest public funds to bring the land-grant university to audiences who needed that knowledge outside the walls of our universities. At that point in time, those audiences were largely rural and were engaged in agriculture. We helped shape the United States of today. We were transformational. This success provides so much to celebrate. But now, here we are a century later. We have questions to address. What is exactly our role for the next century. We compete with year-round sports and a variety of other activities for youth. The private sector delivers a variety of educational programming that once was the sole province of extension. The internet in our pocket or on our belt delivers more answers than we can possibly use to any question we have. What will be our transformational purpose in the next 100 years? Here at Ohio State, we've been attacking that question head on. Many of you in this tent have actually helped us with our Extension Futuring Initiative. We're identifying the challenges that Ohioans will face 20 years out and determining how we position ourselves to continue to be the preferred, preferred provider of answers to an inquiring populace. That Futuring Inquiry is not yet done, but we know there are new horizons for us. We know we have new ways of doing business that will be necessary to keep us at your service. We need to continue to be the organization that dares to try new ideas. You remember in 1902, A.B. Graham down in Clark County knew that technology was needed in the farming community. But he couldn't really reach the farmers. They were a bit, uh, shall we say, resistant to change. So he came up with the novel idea of the Corn Club, directed at the children of those farmers. It went through this back door that he has helped establish that what eventually became 4-H. And 4-H, by the way, was one of the best practices identified by Monsieur Smith and Lever in 1914 when they introduced their legislation, now known very creatively as the Smith-Lever Act, that established extension. So how will we identify and tackle the challenges ahead, operating in a different model? Much of that does remain to be seen. We're still in our futuring exercises, but I'm confident that those exercises will bear fruit.